morning and welcome back everybody, especially my patrons. Today I have something nice for you. Came from you when you voted for it. The Ming Full Carbon Bow from Yuen. Mark Tom was so kind and sent it to me. Of course I paid for it. Came packed well in a big box. We get a nice sleeve with it. Really nice one. Then it's packed here. And oh, still closed here. So, see, freshly unpacked. So, let's see what we get. And of course, one of you patrons will. Oh, fancy. A blue colored wood here and carbon on both sides. But it looks like there's a layer of glass above it. So, I think we are safe. Oh, look at this pretty bow. Nice, the corners are nice and smooth. We have an inlay here in, yeah, I forgot. Nice decoration here, well made, hello. 35 at 28, and the build date 20th May 2023. So, what? A week ago, okay, fine. So that bow looks just nice. Information-wise, you don't get anything in the box, so I wish that Mark, please, you and Bose, see, it's a really nice here, include some information in the, with the bow, you know, you, you pay, what's the price? Let, let's talk about the price. $320 and I think $200 shipping, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a premium product. And I think it deserves a small information leaflet in the box so everybody knows what he will get. You know, that if I don't know now that you told me it's a Mingbo, I would not even know. So it's a Mingbo, it has this poundage, it has whatever draw, draw length is 30 inches, I just asked him. And the brace height is 6.2 to 6.5 inches and minimum arrow weight is 10, is what he just told me, but this should all be in a leaflet packed with a bow, I, I think, but that's me. Can be wrong, but you know, you buy something from AliExpress for $2 and you get a leaflet bigger than the telephone book. So I think a good product deserves a little information. But what I have to say, look what he shipped with it. Tea, and another nice one, and this, the. It's a nice tea box too. It's a tea sing with age. Nice, so thank you very much for that. But as you know, bribery doesn't work with me. I like the tea, but it doesn't affect in any way my judgment, of course. But this bow is beautiful and looks well made. 50 almost 58 inches we give it 58 inches this arrow uh, this arrow pass inlay is unfortunately only on one side so if you're left hand shooter you will scratch up your bow so it would be a suggestion from my side put it on both sides we have ooh, 17 and a half 18 millimeters we give it 18 very nice that's pretty so look at this thin narrow arrow pass and this carbon should give you a lot of yeah, torque resistance, power. Looks looks good. I have to admit, so patrons, you can look forward, you get a nice bow. I mean, I keep it if you don't want to. So, step through method, which we don't use. I think it's just a nice poundage for a bow like this. I would always be careful with two heavy bows in laminated. A really nice bow. And no weight to it. Carbon, no. 350. Nice. Handle feels good. Look at this nice bump here. Then we have this rare, very narrow arrow pass. Very nice. And oh, this direction, look at this. You really need to force this bow, really nice. So this is nice. Now the only thing, it's 58 inches and it does only 30 inches. That's a little 
for me, a little downside. I would have expected that this bow would do at least 32. Maybe would do it, but you know, he goes safe now. So 30 inches, nice. And yeah, but uh, I think 32 should be possible. So Mark, I'm not sure with your 30 inch max draw. But we go with 30 inches and then we see how it goes. But it's a pretty bow. Of course, you need to like the carbon patterns on both sides. It's just still for me something which doesn't fit with a traditional bow. But I can see the benefits of it. If they would have had carbon in the back in the times, they would most probably have used it. So, but look at this really pretty, nice decoration here. And then here for this, I think it's the new UN logo, poundage and the date. It's really, oops, what's that gross? Why do I have gross on my finger? Transitions are nice made. So here you have really a little bump and then and a, a defined transition and not this sending to zero and then like here. <laughs> but it's fine, here it looks good. It's, it's, it's well made, look at this. It's a really, really nice bow and the sears, you can't complain anything. They have here this nice, uh, you know, almost spine here. Nice, and then we have a little bump here, so they're a bit bulgy, so the string runs nice and round here. And a very small string bridge, string pad. Oh, sounds good. So, and we have it in blue today, huh? For my future, I see blue. That's true. 35 at 28, we have 30 inch max draw, so I guess we end roughly at 40 pounds. 390 grain the, from Bamboo Archery, the Taurus. Of course, they're too long, as I don't have 30 inch arrows in this weight. But let's see what the bow will say. 30 inches is kind of here. Nice, you have a little vibration, but it might go away. Arrow pass is very narrow, very nice. I think I overdraw the ball already. Huh? The problem is I don't have up until here, it's nice. So they go a little to the left because the arrow pass is so narrow and we have six, and I didn't even measure, but six and a half inches, kind of like brace height. And the glove from the protector from Arches Titbits. So if you want one, Arches Titbits. So, a little, but not much. Nice, you feel it only a little in the hand, but that might go away. And if I tell you that the bow draws smooth or not smooth, it's just my personal observation. Others do it very scientifically and tell you what and whatever. But I just tell you if a bow is smooth or not, this bow is very smooth. Very smooth. And look at this. I think it would do more than 30. Oops, shoulder was not down, you saw that. So, we still need a little until we get friends. Handle is nice. This bow performs nice, it draws nice. So there's this bit of slack and then until here. I would do more, so it doesn't feel like it would directly start stacking after 30 inches, but we stick with What a nice and shiny bow, huh? Main Emperor, full carbon. Nice. So you have a little vibration with these arrows. They are just a little under 10 grain, but now we're slowly getting friends. Now we're getting friends. I should group so it takes a few arrows until you get the hang of it. But now this boat just works. I mean, it's worked before, but now it works with me. I said all the scientific stuff you can check on Bamboo Archery Malaysia. He does all these tests and speed and what have you. This is just my impression here. How the bow handles, 160, 159 to be precise. So I'm not sure if I could draw more. 162, 10, almost 10 grain arrows, 175, we do that again, 161, 
178, this is more likely, yeah. 160, yeah, but I guess 175 foot per second with train grind should be just what this bow is capable of doing. Really nice shooter. Little bong. And I think this bow would throw more. Nice cutter built in. What can you ask for more? Pretty bow. Look at this. Really nice see. It's nice crafted really really well. There's nothing to complain about this bow. Other than second arrow pass on this side. An inlay like here. For the rest. Nice. Smooth, everything nice. Great bow. A really nice bow, well crafted nothing to complain what I think that the Ming only with 30 inches I find a little limiting so for me it would be nice if the bow would do 32 inches at least yeah, it's okay a little from the painting so yeah as you hear that but it's it's okay you know it's small even here so paint shop the last layer has a small has small small bumps to it 320 dollars is a good price for this bow but shipping of course is a little you need to see that you manage the shipping yeah a few of these thingies here which i don't like but it's fine nitpicky you get the bow, a string, a sleeve, nothing else, unfortunately. So, Mark, I think we could do a little more. It's four points. Handling of this bow. This bow was easy to string. This bow is extremely torque resistant, so that's why it's even step through method. You don't even have to worry about this bow is straight, so built really nicely, so you have nothing to worry. 35 pounds this bow is just working out of the box just nice so I give you 10 for the handling build should have been a nitpicky but there are a few of these dots here where the paint had some bubbles or something I don't know or maybe you wrapped it too early you didn't leave it drying long enough I don't know there are a few of these if it would be one I would be okay but there are now I found a few really well made but the, the final finish yeah I give you 10 but nine and a half the basic feel of this bow you feel a little even with the 10 grain arrows Ooh, big butterfly you feel it a little in the hand but that might go away but right now it's there so it's It's not long, but it's quite significant. But of course, you have more string bridges. It, it, you, you feel the oscillation in the hand. Handle is very small, so you feel it a little. Doesn't bother me, but some maybe. So that's why I give you for nine for the basic feel. Draw experience, so you tell me 30 inches. And this bow does nice 30 inches. So a really nice draw curve. I just wish it would do 32, but you told me it's 30 and 30 it does nice so you give 10 for that shooting experience due to the narrow arrow pass my arrows went first a little left but that's normal you need to adjust but it took me not many arrows and now I shoot already groups with it so it's a very precise bow where you can shoot very precisely with it doesn't take long to get used to it and it's really a pretty bow I mean for 320 dollars can't say anything only shipping needs to be fixed because $200 for shipping is just not working. So shooting experience 10, that gives you 4953 points. Price for the bow, it's fine. I don't know if shipping is always $200, then it's not worth it for the bow itself. I would give you five points, but I, of course I have to consider shipping. And then $200 shipping is a bit too much for me. 
So that's why I give you four points for this. The bow by itself, fully worth it, $320. Fully worth it, full carbon, performs nice, has, has a decent speed to it. So nothing, really nothing to complain, it works. And I feel safe now drawing this bow. Remember I had once a bow from UN long ago where the, the, the last layer here was the carbon and then it starts getting brittle and then it broke. Now everything is covered. And now everything is fine. So these bows are really nice, nice performers. 175 foot per second with 10, 10, 10, 10 gram per pound. It's, I think it's fine for a bow like this. I said, I wish it would do 32 inches, but you know, that's me. For the rest, patrons, pretty bow. You wanted to know it. Here you have it. You have my opinion now to it. Nice bow. So. Thank you very much, Mark, for making these nice bows and for sending one to me. I said, shipping costs need to be fixed because $200 for shipping, not worth it. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for the tea. And, that's, and I will, of course, soon ask my patrons a question. Some people always ask, how does this Patreon work? You just click on the Patreon link to the Patreon's page and then there you can just sign in with whatever amount you want to support this channel and you want to support me and of course everyone no matter how much you support per month you participate in this bow giveaways then so this bow will go to one of my patrons if you pay more than 25 or you pay 25 dollars a month then you can send me a videos and i do online video review and check your form and everything so, but it has nothing to do with this bow I will ask a question about this bow later and on the patrons they answer the question right will participate in the shootout that's all i have for you today thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one